In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this super awesome cyber truck inside of Unity. So yeah, let's literally just dive into it. Ooh. So here I have set up a simple environment to get things started, which is all here inside of the main camera game object. Alright, so now it's time to add the car and for the car I will use this cyber truck that my friend made for me. So let's just drag and drop this inside of the hierarchy now. And let's place it down a bit. Somewhere around here. Yeah, this looks good. Now let's add a rigid body 2D to our car. Alright, and now it's time to give our car some wheels. So let's drag and drop this inside of the car and let's call this tire R for rear. Place this at the correct position. So here, this looks fine. And now let's duplicate this to make the front wheel. So let's call it tire F for front and let's change the position. So let's place it here. This looks good somewhere around here yep now let's select both of the tires and we will add a circle collider 2d to our tires now all right and now we need to add rigid body 2d to both the tires rigid body 2d and lastly the wheel join 2d all right and here we need to give it a connector rigid body and for that we will drag and drop our cyber truck Alright, and we need to disable this auto configure joint. Let me show you what happens if we don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one drives a car like this. So let's go back and let's disable this now. And now we will manually uh, set the anchors for our tires here. So let's select any one of the tire and let's place it at the anchor position. Alright, and same for the other tire. Alright, so this looks good. So we will place them at the center of the connected anchor. And here are some more settings like the damping ratio, the frequency and the angle. Well, the angle basically here is, these, is the green line here which is in the vertical direction. Meaning that our uh, tires will move on the, in the vertical direction. So let's keep it at 90 and now let's try this out. Well, as you can see, there are a few changes to be made. And for that, let's go back and we will set the frequency here to, I think, let's say 5. Let's just try this out. And this looks pretty cool. And now we can also run the car. So let's just set the speed to, let's say, 400. Click on use motor and it will start moving. Awesome. But we need to do this, do all of this inside the script. So let's first make a physics 2D material for our ground here. Let's call this ground. So now let's attach this to the ground. Let's drag and drop this. And now we will set the friction value to 0 0.6. And now it's time to create our first script. So let's select Cybertruck. Add component and we will make a new script call it driving script create an ad and let's open this up inside of visual studio in here we need to make a reference for both the wheel joints to access all these values here all right so let's go back and here we'll type in public wheel join 2d and let's call this wheel front and another one let's call this wheel back all right and now we need to make a public float for the forward speed so let's call this forward speed and another one for the backward speed or the reverse speed all right and one last thing here for the torque so let's call it torque 
and let's go inside of the upgrade method now here we will make a float x and we will set it to the input dot get axis horizontal all right so now we can check it if x is greater than zero meaning that we are trying to move forward but we can just access the motors from the wheel joints directly so we need to make a private reference for the motors so let's create up here let's make a private motor join 2d join motor 2d let's call one for the back wheel so back motor and one for the front so front motor and now we can change things on these motors and apply them to the wheel joints all right so let's first set the speed of our motor so bake motor dot motor speed and let's set it equal to the forward speed here forward speed and the and also the same for the front motor And we also need to set the torque here so bake motor dot motor torque is equal to torque and also for the front motor and now we can just apply all this to our wheel joints so wheel front motor and we will set this equal to the front motor and same for the wheel back all right and now let's make another if statement for when the x is less than equal less than zero and when it is we will just copy these press them here and we will just change the speed forward to backward speed because we want to move backwards Alright, so that's all we need to do here. So let's just save this and head back inside of Unity. So firstly, we need to enable this use motor here for both these tires. And also let's drag and drop these quickly. So the wheels, wheel 1, wheel 2, let's set the forward speed to 600 and backward speed to let's say 300 and the torque here i think it'll be 1000 and also the backward speed will be a negative value so let's put in minus 300 because we want to move backwards all right so let's like both the tires and hit play and if we try to move our car cool we can move forward and as well as backwards but the car doesn't stop so we need another condition for that so let's just put in an else here and another else condition for when the x is equal to zero so we will just copy and paste these values so let's just copy this paste it here and here we need to change the speed to zero because we don't want our car to be moved and we can just get rid of this torque here all right so let's save this and add back inside of unity and now we can just go ahead and hit play and if we move and leave it all right so the car stops that's pretty cool right so let's try this out in full screen mode awesome so yeah it looks pretty good now the only thing left here is to add some ground so let's add some bumpy ground to our game for that we need to go to windows package manager and here go to all and select this 2d sprite shape and install this and it will take a few while and once it's done let's go to project create go to sprite shape profile and select shape here all right so 
here we can see a bunch of options but we are not gonna go into detail about all this the only thing of interest here is to change the texture and for this one we will use the square here so let's drag and drop this here and as you can see it appears on the ground all right and now we can go to the hierarchy right click and 2d com 2d object select sprite shape and here it appears on the screen but we need to disable the ground first now select the sprite shape bring it down to make our ground and let's ch change the order in layer to one so it renders on top of everything else to add some points to our ground here we can just click on this edit spline button and the points appear and we can just add as many points as we want and make whatever shape we want to using this sprite shape pretty cool yeah so to add some bumps to our game we can just add a point so let's add one here and to make it more smoother we can just click on this button so we can make it like more steep or shallow so it totally depends on you but if you want the slope to change on the in one side so you can just click on this button here and now the other side will no longer get affected cool so let me quickly make a ground for us and now let's change the color of our ground to a bit more ground like so brown here let's like something like this all right and the only thing left here is to add the collider so let's go to add component and type in edge collider and the cool part here is that we can don't have to place them at the correct position we can just go to the sprite shape control here and click on this update collider and it will automatically set the collider to our shape to the shape of our sprite cool but now we need to add a camera follow to our to play this level and for that i'm gonna quickly create a camera follow script and it looks something like this and if you don't know how to create one you can just stop this video right here and copy this out so let's go back inside of unity and try this out awesome so we can drive over these little bumps and also you can speed this up if you want to so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my youtube channel and also this complete project including the cyber truck will be available on my patreon so if you want to check it out i'll put a link in the description and until next time see ya